In this video, let's learn how to pass a component as a prop with React and TypeScript. For this video as well, I've set up some code to help us get started. In the components folder, I have created a new folder called auth. This folder contains three files. Login.tsx, which is a simple component that says, please log in to continue. We also have profile.tsx, which is a component that says private profile component. Finally, we have private.tsx, which is a component that controls whether a user can view a component or not based on whether they're logged in. Now the component receives two props which have destructured, is logged in and a component that needs to be invoked if the user is in fact logged in. In the JSX, we check if the user is logged in and invoke the passed in component prop. If the user is not logged in, we simply return the login component asking the user to sign in first. Now we need a reusable component prop here as the component could be any component we want behind a login screen. Our task now is to ensure the code plays nicely with TypeScript. Login and profile components don't have props or state so don't need any types. Let's simply focus on private.tsx. The component accepts two props, is logged in and a component. So at the top, let's add the private props type. Type private props is equal to an object. And we have is logged in, which is of type boolean. We then have component as a prop, which can be any React component. So what is the type we can specify? Well, it turns out we need to use a type from the React library. And the type is react.componentType. We can now specify this as the type for the props. So colon, private props. And when we do that, TypeScript is happy. This is how you type a component prop. But there is another small detail that you need to learn. At the moment, the profile component doesn't have any props of its own. Let's add a name prop. So type profile props contains one prop called name of type string. Within parentheses, the structure name from props and the type is profile props. We can render it in the JSX. Private profile component name is props.name. We can now go back to private.tsx and pass in the name prop. So component name is equal to Vishwas. When we do that, TypeScript is not happy again. It doesn't know the component can accept the name prop. To fix this, we have to export the profile props type from profile.tsx, import it in private.tsx, and then after react.componentType within angle brackets, specify profile props. This will fix the error. Also, I like to pass props only in lowercase. So this is going to be component colon component. And make the same change in private props as well. Now we can test this in app.tsx. Import and invoke the private component. We can specify is logged in is equal to true and component is going to be equal to the profile component. TypeScript does not throw any errors. So 
If you have to pass in a component prop, use react.componentType. If that component itself accepts props, specify the prop type in angle brackets. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.